Hey guys, this is Admiral Seabass, continuing on with uh, Eastern Pack Turn 2. Uh, we're going to do combat orders. So, uh, let's see. In the Hawaiian Sea, which is right here, we're going to fire one cruise missile from this sub, who's going to come off silent running. He's going to fire a cruise missile, so I'm taking one out of China's dashboard. And... We'll fire, fire a cruise missile into there. This guy's also coming off silent running. He's also going to fire a cruise missile into there. And then this guy is also coming off silent running. He is also going to fire a cruise missile into there. Now, it doesn't really matter. I mean, technically, I probably should have done this. You know, grabbed a Russian cruise missile and put it in here. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, Russian cruise missiles hit just the same as, as Chinese. So just for simplicity, we're going to do that. You just have to make sure you take the, the uh, cruise missile out of the right dashboard. Um, okay, so there's that. Now this sub, we are going to go 1-2 to the U.S. West Coast. And he is going to fire a cruise missile in a base strike on the U.S. Air Base in Southwest United States, like that. All right, that's that. Now, what are we gonna do over here? Let's see, let's see here. All right, let's do that. So, I'm gonna attack Okinawa. And Okinawa, we are going to take two airborne infantry from the airbase in Japan. And they are going to attack Okinawa. And I'm going to take one fighter from this supercarrier in the Sea of Japan. And that fighter is also going to join the attack on Okinawa. Alright. Then, in the... South China Sea here, and I'm going to need to move back just a little bit, hopefully without destroying the board. In the South China Sea, we're going to take one attack helicopter from Japan, one, two. It's going to attack these subs. This drone will join, and then this attack helicopter will go one, and he will attack those subs. So I'm going to get some fuel gauge markers here. We'll show that this guy has two left, and this guy has three movement left, like that. All right, so then we are going to attack South Korea again, and into South Korea, so let me get this card again. Put that card right there and let me make sure you can see that. Yep, you can. So, all units in North Korea are going in. This drone will go in. That fighter will go in and he will also have three movement points remaining and I'm looking for a three. There it is. Probably gonna run out of these fuel gauge markers, which is fine. I'll just have to do it the old fashioned way. So then three main battle tanks from Manchuria are also going in. One fighter from the supercarrier in the Sea of Japan. He will also have three movement points left, so I'll put him there. This fighter from Amur will go one, two. So he'll actually have two movement points left. And one cruise missile will be fired from the airbase in North Korea. One cruise missile will be fired from this guided missile destroyer and that guided missile destroyer. So that's two cruise missiles from the Chinese dashboard and one from the Russian dashboard 
and that gives us three cruise missiles in this attack. And again, that will be against all of the units in South Korea. Once again, the attack will be limited to one round, and all land units for Pacific Coalition will get plus two on that round of combat. All right, so over here. Let's see, that should be good. I'll back up a little bit. Uh, let's, let's just try this, okay. And I'm gonna attack Egyptian Caliphate. I will be attacking with two infantry from North African Caliphate. One attack helicopter from Turkey. And so I think since I can't fly through here, since there's a fighter, he's going to have to go Balkan States, Western Med, Egyptian Caliphate, and he'll have one movement point remaining. Uh, this Russian sub is going to move one, two, and fire a cruise missile into that combat. This Russian sub is going to go off silent running. And he can go one, two, passing through this straight, no problem there. Subs can always pass through straights. And he will also fire a cruise missile into this combat. And then last but not least, this helicopter from the Balkan States will go one, two, and he'll have two movement points remaining. Like that. Okay. Tell you, I really like these pieces, by the way. Doug HBG did a really nice job on these pieces. Um, feel good in your hands. They sturdy. They hold up well. All right. We're also attacking Israel. So for the Israel attack, I'm going to put another card here. And Knights Templar said he would not scramble into this battle or this battle with that fighter. So... On this card, I'm going to go ahead and grab all the stuff in Israel, which is five infantry, a main battle tank, a fighter, or next-gen fighter technically, and this little beauty here, the atomic demolition, uh, the atomic demolitions munitions. So uh, going in to Israel will be all units from the Central Caliphate here. So and let me do this. This will be a little bit easier. Yeah, let's do that. So this airborne will go in. I think this is eight infantry will go in. This fighter will go in. This drone will go in. And then one cruise missile will be fired from this airbase in the central caliphate into this battle. can't really see yeah see all the stuff here so far and then one main battle tank from Turkey will go one two into the battle and then one main battle tank from Iran Pakistan will go one two into the battle and I will just chip him out like that and then one fighter from Iran Pakistan will go one two and both of these fighters will both have two movement points left. So let's put two underneath these guys. Like that. And that's it for combat orders into Israel. All right, so up here. Yeah, you should be able to see everything now. Okay. In Greece, one infantry from the Balkan states will walk into Greece. And so that puts Russia from 26 to 27 and NATO from 32 to 31. Check that one off. Into Italy, we will be taking two infantry from the Balkan states. that one main battle tank from the Balkan states 
like that in one main battle tank from Central Europe. We'll be going into Italy. Okay, in Denmark. And I talked to um, Knights Templar and we agreed that um, the rules say you can scramble into a battle, but we are gonna assume that a walk-in is not a battle. So uh, what's gonna happen here is an infantry from the Baltic States is going to hop onto this LHD and then he is going to get off into Denmark and take walk into Denmark and that will put Russia up one from 27 to 28 and NATO will go from 31 down to 30. Okay, and then my last battle will be in Scandinavia. So, in Scandinavia, and he, uh, Knights Templar has also said he will not scramble from this supercarrier into this battle. So we will have one fighter from Northern Russia. We will have, and he will have three movement points left. Let me see if I can find a three. May not have another three. Oh, I do, nice. Then we will have one fighter from Ukraine, Belarus. He will go uh, one, two, three. So he'll actually have one movement point left. Like this. One attack helicopter from Central Europe will go one, two. He'll have two movement points left. One drone from Northern Russia. One attack helicopter from Northern Russia. He'll also have three left, so I will just put him there. One cruise missile will be fired from here. Into this attack. One cruise missile will be fired from this guided missile destroyer, also into this attack, and Knights Templar, according to my math, that's the last of the Russian cruise missiles. Uh, not sure what you show or if you're even tracking that, but did just want to point that out. And then two infantry will come in from Northern Russia, and then one infantry from Central Europe will hop on to the LHD, which can take two. One landed in Denmark. This guy will also be dropped off in Scandinavia. Okay, that's it for my combat orders. All right, let's start rolling some dice. So, let's see here. I'm gonna go back to the other side of the board and resolve these from right to left. So, let me go get my dice tower. Let's do this air base strike. Let's see what we've got. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, you can. So this is the strike, the base strike on the air base. <laughs> I hope you're laughing, Knights Templar, at how bad my dice rolling has been on those D6s pretty much for everything. But we're still having fun, and that's what's important. So, Knights Templar, you gotta pay a dollar. Keep the airbase open. All right, so, three cruise missile strikes. And you know what, um, I'm actually gonna, I like the dice tower for rolling one or two dice, but I think when we get into more, I like to use the dice tray. So let's put this here, like this. And let's roll these three cruise missile strikes. into this fleet. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so that is nothing. I needed a three or less, and I got nothing. So those are dead. All right, so this one's done. 
All right, now I think we move to, let's do the attack in Okinawa. And you know what, I think I will use my dice tower for this one. So this is right here. So I've got two airborne infantry attacking at two or less. They both miss. And since I now have next gen fighters, he will attack at eight or less. And he hits. So he's dead. He will shoot back at four or less. And he also hits, of course. So I will lose an airborne, which will be this chip. The US Light Infantry dies. Flip this over. And China goes up one to 41. And is that US or Pacific? That was Pacific Coalition goes down one from 26 to 25. All right, I need these dice to warm up a little bit here for me, everybody. Um, all right, let's do this sub attack. I assume he will use silent running. Uh, I forgot to ask him about that. I told him about the attack, but forgot to ask him. I assume he will use silent running. Otherwise, I can just keep attack attacking him until... I roll a, a two or less. So let's roll for this guy first because I get two dice and I get to keep the best one. So we normally attack at four, but when we're, we're attacking subs alone, we attack at two or less. So I'm looking, and since I have a drone, I get to roll two dice and I keep the best result. So let's roll these two dice. Nope. So then let's roll for the other helicopter who just gets to roll one dice. Hey, I got one. So I don't know that it matters which one, so I'll just take the Pacific Coalition one off. So we killed a sub, that's good. All right, so now let's do the big one. Uh, let's do the battle in South Korea. So we're gonna have to do this one over here on my side table on the battle board. So, Let's grab this stuff and let's walk over. And then let's do that. Perfect. All right, so you can see the dice here. Yep, okay. All land units are plus two, so these eight are gonna be at six. This guy's gonna be at eight. This guy is going to be at six. Let me just double check that. DMZ. Yep. Defending land units are plus two. All right, so the fighter's still there. Okay, so on my side, I've got... I've actually got six main battle tanks, so I'm going to chip one of these guys out just to keep it simple. I like having these wide angle views here because it makes it super easy. I've got, what, three cruise missiles? I have had pretty rotten luck with cruise missiles in this game. I've got next gen fighters, so all my fighters will be at eight. And I'll pair my fighter up, or my drone up, with one of my two fighters. I'll put these other two guys right there like that. And you can still see that, that's amazing. Okay, and then these uh, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven infantry will be attacking at two. All right, let's roll it. So, where are my dice? <clears throat> All right, three cruise missiles, three or less, target select two. It's 11, a 12, and a five, so no go. I haven't had a single cruise missile hit yet this turn. All right, nobody, he doesn't have any first strike. So let's start at the top. I'll go ahead and roll my next gen fighter with the drone. So that's two dice. That's a five and oh, that is a one. So with the one, I believe I can select any unit. Let me double check this. Fighter, any unit I can 
target select. So I will uh, interesting choice, right? Uh, I'll target select his main battle tank. All right. So then I get two other rolls for these two other fighters at eight. And there's two more hits, but not a target select. So I assume he'll lose two infantry. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Main battle tanks. They have target select one. They can only target select land units, though. They do manage to get a hit. So here's six dice. Okay, so there's one, two, and three hits. And I get it, did get a target select, but it doesn't matter because they can only target select the infantry. So that'll be one, two, th three more hits. Really needed some of those cruise missiles to hit because he's only got four units left. And if it, like one or two of those cruise missiles that hit, I might have been able to take him out. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven infantry, two or less. Five, six, seven. All right. And I got no hits. All right. So now the pain. So he's got one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Defending infantry. They're gonna roll at six or less, and I'll roll the fighters separate. One, two. So, okay, I think I've got. All right, let's just roll the infantry separate because I don't have enough colored dice. So here's eight at six or less. I see three hits. So one, two, three hits. All right, let's roll the fighter at six or less. That's a hit. And now we'll roll the main battle tank at eight or less. That's also a hit, so that's five hits. So I will take one, two, three, four, five infantry and I have to retreat back to North Korea. So, I took out his tank, which was good. I took out one more unit than he did, but that plus two is a, is a killer. So he's got three infantry and a fighter left. I've got two infantry, six main battle tanks, and three fighters, which a couple of them will probably go back to someplace else. And the drone. All right, so let me put these over here. here let me show you what I'm doing. Putting these back in the holding boxes here. Six main battle tanks, two infantry, a drone. And uh, I'll just go ahead and put these like out on the board to remind myself to move them back during strategic movement. All right, so that is South Korea. I thought if I got fortunate there, I might be able to take it this turn, but wasn't in the cards. All right, so let's do this one. Uh, let's do the Egyptian Caliphate first. <clears throat> and... I think I can probably do this one out here uh, like this. Let's see. Yeah, probably do that. All right. Could really use some cruise missile hits here. So I've got two first striking cruise missiles at three or less. <laughs> well, came back around, Knights Templar. That's two hits, and they're both first strikes, so you're not going to be able to shoot back. I will take that. Thank you, thank you. Clear those. Get that out of the way. So Caliphate will go from 16 to 18, and NATO will go from 30 to 28. 
All right. Tonight, this, uh, Knights Temple and I were talking about this earlier. The swings in this game are just unreal in a good way. Like, um, you know, you, you think you're out of it and, and you're not. You know, you think you're doing well and you're not. You know, so um, anyway, all right, let's move this over here. This is Israel. Let's do this. All right, so again, we've got one cruise missile. We got two main battle tanks. We've got a drone, which will go on one of the fighters. We've got eight infantry at two, and we've got an airborne infantry at two. He's got this atomic demolitions munition, which I'll explain in a minute. Five infantry at four, a main battle tank at six, and he has next gen fighters, so they're at eight. This thing gets three shots at five in the first round of combat. Uh, it's not first strike, um, but it, it's nuclear. It also doesn't co it's not doesn't cost him a victory point to use it. So, anyway, all right, let's roll the first strike. Let me clear these dice just to not confuse ourselves. Cruise missile at three or less misses. All right, so that's done. Back over there. Go ahead and roll. The fighter with the drone. That's two misses, so the drone does me no good. This is not a good start. I'll do the other fighter without the drone. That's a two. That's a hit. So I assume I'll lose that guy. Uh, two main battle tanks at six. That's a two and a ten, so that's one more hit. So I'm assuming he'll lose another infantry. Then I've got eight, nine, and I can roll all these together. So I've got nine infantry at two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Infantry at two. Oh, well, that's not too bad. That's two hits. So one, two. So that's two more infantry. All right, now the response. So... He's got five infantry. I'll use these green dice since Americans are green and Israel's controlled by the Americans. Five dice at four. Oh, nice Templar. Rough luck, man. That's no hits. All right. He's got three at five for this atomic demolitions munition. Okay, you got one on that one. So I'll lose an infantry. Actually, I'll lose the airborne infantry. They come off first. They only defend at one. So they're super rangy with their attacks, but they only defend at one. Okay, main battle tank at six. That's a miss. Next gen fighter at eight. That's a three, so that's a hit. So I'll lose another infantry. All right, so the ADM comes off. And we go again. So let's roll the fighter with the drone. Oh, that's a hit this time. So there's one hit, which will be your infantry. Let's roll the other fighter without the drone. He's at a six or less. Oh, that's not only a hit, but it's a target select. So I'll make you lose your fighter. And then I got two main battle tanks at six. <laughs> Double twelves, all right. And then I believe I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven infantry at two. So I just need one more hit to finish you off. Two, three, four, five, six, seven at two. And I didn't get it. Combat only lasts three rounds, and this is the second round, so that kind of stinks. All right, infantry at four. That's a hit. So I'll lose an infantry. Main battle tank at six. That's a hit. I'll lose another infantry. And fighter at eight. It's also a hit, so I'll lose another infantry. All right. So we're down to my remaining stuff versus uh, his main battle tank. So two, the fighter with the drone 
Gets two hits, so he's dead. And now he'll shoot back. And he also hits. So you rolled pretty well there in the last two rounds there, Knights Templar. Uh, so, but Israel does fall. So, I'll, again, I'll put the fighters and the drone back on the map. And then all this stuff, I will put over here. So, that is a victory star territory. So I will take this, put it on the Caliphate's um, card. These IRBMs are automatically destroyed. And then, let's see, I'll flip this guy over. And unfortunately, that's only worth one. So the Caliphate goes from 18 to 19, and the U.S. goes from 46 to 45. But what we see here, too, is that the Caliphate has just gained another victory point, and the, what is it, the Americans have just lost a victory point. So uh, good guys are now at plus one. Or, I'm sorry, not the good guys. Eastern Pact are now at plus one, and uh, Western Allies are now at minus one for the game. All right, so let's move up here, and let's roll for Italy, and I think I can do that right here. So I've got two main battle tanks, which will be the blue dice at six. That's a hit. That's all I needed. And he gets a response at four, and he missed. All right, so we'll remove him. And then that's worth four. So Russia will go up four more from 28 to 32. And NATO will go, I think, from 28 to 24 is where I have NATO. All right, and last but not least... Let's go up here, and actually, let's see where I can put this. Move this guy up. You still can't really see it, can you? Yeah, let's move that in there like that. Um. So, all right. He's got two infantry and an airborne defending. Let's roll the two cruise missiles first. So two at three. Huh, both miss. Back to my normal bad cruise missile rolling. Combat here is limited to two rounds since it's a NATO territory. Uh, all right. I've got a fighter I'm going to pair with a drone. So that's two at six. I got a four and a four, so I'll keep one. I'm assuming he'll lose the airborne first. All right, I've got another fighter without a drone at six or less. That's a miss. I've got two attack helicopters, which I think are at four. Yep. Both miss. And then I've got three infantry at two. So let me roll two first. Both miss. Could have used that for my helicopters. And then another one at four. Oh, that is a hit. And that's a target select, but it doesn't matter. All right. So I got two of his three. All right. So his two regular infantry will defend at four. Oh, whew. both miss. And his airborne defends at one. Oh, yes. Thank you. All right. Round two. I have to kill him this time. Or I have to retreat. So it's the fighter... With the drone, that's what I needed. So I'll choose the six. That's a hit. So then he responds at uh, four or less, and he misses. Okay, I'm not going to complain too much about my dice that turn. All right, so that's three more Knights Templar. So 
Russia goes from 32 to 35. NATO goes from 24 down to 21. All right, let's roll now that combat is over. Let's go into strategic movement. Okay, so I need my cheat sheet here. Let's start over here where I think I have less. All right, China. All right, did I? I think I forgot, so I can see that I forgot something. Uh, no, no, I didn't. All right, so China, we are gonna airlift one infantry from Xinjiang, and my airlift capacity is one, so I can only airlift one a total of six. So this guy's gonna go one, two, three into Japan. And let me check that off. Just wanna go methodically here or I'll forget stuff. I'm gonna sea lift one, I can sea lift one unit from East China to Japan. He's gonna go one, two, like that. So I will just chip him out to make it easy. All right. Gonna land one attack helicopter in Southeast Asia. Like this. Uh, one of these fighters that's got three left is going to go one, two, three, and land in Southeast Asia. This drone is going to land in Southeast Asia. Like that. I hope you can see that. Uh, one of these guys is going to land back here in Amur, where he came from. Another one of these guys is going to land back on the supercarrier, where he came from. And this guy will also land back on the supercarrier, like that. And then, what else should I do? How much have I got here? Uh, this guy will move into Southeast Asia. This attack helicopter will land back on Japan. Did I not use that fighter? I think I neglected to use that fighter. Or if I did, that was really bad. <laughs> uh, but he'll stay. If, if uh, I didn't use him, then he's he was going to come back to there anyway. Okay, so for Caliphate, uh, we're going to land this attack helicopter. Has to, he can only go one. Um, or can they land in captured land zones? Let me let me check that. If they can then I'm gonna land them there. I thought they could. I know they can in 85, but I'm not sure whether that is in 2025. Yep, they can land in a land zone conquered, and they can even capture land zones themselves. Alright, so they'll just land there. All right, I will then, uh, let's see, I'll land the drone back in Central Caliphate. I'll land a fighter back in Central Caliphate and this other fighter back in Iran, Pakistan, like that. And then that is it for Caliphate, strategic movement. Okay.
Russia. Now this is the one that I'm sort of waffling over what I do up here. So, uh, this drone will land back in northern Russia. Uh, this attack helicopter will land back here in northern Russia. This attack helicopter will land back here in Central Europe. Uh, this guy down here, which you can't see, was down in uh, Egyptian Caliphate, will go 1-2 and land back here in Balkan States. Uh, this fighter will land on the LHD in the Baltic Sea. This guy will land back here in northern Russia. Uh, three MBTs and two infantry will move from Ukraine, Belarus to Central Europe. So. These three, and I'll chip him out. Nice music. My daughter's home from college, and some of her musical friends are over, so they are making beautiful music upstairs. These two guys will come in here. Both of these will also go into Central Europe, so I'll just chip the MBT out. But yeah, I really like this light brown for the Russians and the light blue for NATO. I really like that a lot. Uh, let's see, what else can we possibly do? Oh, there's one, there's definitely one more move I want to make. This might be my last move. Uh, let's see. Where am I? This, this guy's staying here. I just re readjusted him down. Um, we're going to move one infantry from South Yakutia to North Yakutia. Let me just look Knights Templar and see if there's anything else that I want or need to do. And I'm not seeing it. So I think more or less I'm done with strategic movement. So let's go to end of turn phase. Um, let's look at the end of turn sequence here. Let's look at something a little prettier. Uh, end of turn. Placement overview. I don't have any damage to repair. Placement. All right. Now this is where it's going to get a little... I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. All right. For Russia... We are going to put two infantry in northern Russia. We're going to put one infantry in Baltic states. And we're going to put four main battle tanks in Ukraine, Belarus. And actually, you know what? I'm going to move this guy. Uh, I'm going to move this guy up to Baltic States. All right, doing that retroactively. All right, so the Caliphate. We are going to put what are we going to do with the cal 
off it. We're going to put two infantry in Central Caliphate. We're going to put two infantry in Iran, Pakistan. And we're going to put a main battle tank in Iran, Pakistan. And then last but not least, China. Uh, China is going to put two airborne infantry in South China. We're going to put one infantry in Xinjiang. We're going to put one infantry in East China. We've got two more. I've got two more main battle tanks and three more infantry to place. So we will put one main battle tank in North Korea, we will put one main battle tank in Southeast Asia. Sorry, I just gave them another infantry. I've got three more infantry to place. And... Two of them will go in North Korea. And one will go in Manchuria. And that's it for place units. Uh, I just have to collect income now. So for the Russian Federation, look at all the carnage here, everybody. I'm at $35. So they will get 35 Caliphate is at 19, so they will get 19. And China is at 41, so they'll get $41. All right, we are gonna send it over to Knights Templar for Western Allies, turn number two. Uh, this has been Admiral Seabass. Uh, been a blast once again. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, shorter than the last time, too. So uh, take care, everyone. Admiral Seabass signing off.